Hello YouTube, welcome to the Rocket Stove Part 1. Okay, the video I'd seen on YouTube, how this is curved, you'll see in the pictures, I've got several pictures of it, that this is curved, but also this is cut back an inch, and then moved in to kind of kick it in. I may add just a little piece of metal in here to kick it in. And like this. Something like that. Instead of doing all that, this was pretty hard to cut. That's quarter inch thick. This is going to be the bottom. I'm going to fill that in. That way, it's about the right height. Might help with it swirl, with the swirl effect there. We'll pause and we'll spin everything around and give you another view of it. Okay. And try to make this have a little bit of a spin. Like I said, uh, the video I watched, I'll put his name in the description on one of the videos. That this was cut back an inch and kind of kicked in. I think we're going to put a little piece of metal in there to kick it in. That way when it goes in, it kind of throws it that way. And then we're trying to get a swirl to it. We're all new to this. This is 12 inches long to start with. This tank was about 19, about 18 and a half inches now, 18 and a half inches tall. And that's about it for this part. We're going to try to make a swirl. Also, we are going to put a, another 4 inch piece up on top of here. And we're going to angle it, you'll see that in a future video. To make a hopper, we want to feed it this way too. Once the fire gets going down here, we want a hopper here with a lid on it so we can put wood in it. It's going to be angled so it kicks it in here. It'll be back here ways. But it'll be angled so it will shove the wood down in there and then we'll be able to put a lid on it. Probably maybe even sealed with some of that uh, rope gasket stuff. So we can put wood in it and seal it off so it doesn't draw from that way. So it always works from down here. We'll put together all these ideas. I've watched a whole winter's worth of rocket stove videos. And we're going to do our own idea. But I think I'm going to like the bottom of that. I think that will help it swirl. We're going to fill that hole in as smooth as we can. And that will kind of make like a bowl effect. Any suggestions or comments from anybody who's built a lot of these are welcome. Should, I should just say help, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. But thanks for watching part one.